Last month, most Windows gamers got robbed, and maybe you are one of them, and this is the part that should make you angry. You paid for it. You paid $2,000, maybe $3,000 for a gaming PC, and you're getting worse performance than a $399 handheld. Not because your hardware is bad, because Windows is stealing your frames, right now. While you're watching this, and I can prove it, not with opinions, with data and proofs. If you spent all of 2025 gaming on Windows, forget the performance you already lost. That's gone. But with 2026 right around the corner, don't make the same mistake again. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So here are some numbers that change Linux totally. In October 2024, Linux had 2% of Steam's gaming market. Fast forward to November 2025 when we're at 3.2%. I know you are saying, so what? You're thinking. That's still tiny. But look at the curve. It took Linux 10 years to go from 1% to 2%, then just one year to jump from 2% to 3.2%. That's a 60% increase in 12 months. No other gaming platform grew that fast in 2025. This isn't slow growth. This is a turning point, and the numbers prove it. When you dig into why, it gets even crazier. Among English-speaking gamers, Linux hit 7.09%. That's 1 in 14 gamers ditching Windows. Something massive shifted, and it happened in the last 8 months. What actually changed in Linux gaming? November 2025. Valve released Proton 10, and it wasn't just an update. It was a revolution. Games that used to stutter, smooth now. Epic game store that wouldn't launch, fixed. Rocket League performance issues, gone. DualSense controllers that acted weird, working perfectly. But here's the kicker. Dozens of games that straight up didn't work before, they just launched. No tweaking, no terminal commands. You click play, and you're gaming. This isn't about replacing Windows overnight. It's about Linux no longer being the weak option. In December 2025, GE Proton went nuclear. A GE Proton dropped version 10-26, and things got wild. DLSS support landed. That's NVIDIA's AI upscaling tech that makes games look better and run faster. FSR 4.0 automatic updates. AMD's answer to DLSS, now built in. XSS support for Intel GPUs. Even Intel graphics are gaming ready now. Translation, every major graphics technology now works on Linux. All of them. If we talk about Steam Deck, the Steam Deck sold like crazy 330 million hours played on Steam Deck in 2024. That's 64% more than 2023. By March 2025, over 5.6 million Steam Decks sold worldwide. That's an 18% jump from 2024. Every single one runs Linux, and they're consistently in Steam's top 5 best sellers. In April 2025, SteamOS went public. Valve opened SteamOS to other manufacturers. The Lenovo Legion Go S became the first powered by SteamOS handheld. Now HP, Asus, and others are building SteamOS handhelds. Linux gaming didn't slowly creep in, it went mainstream overnight. The performance secret nobody talks about. But I'm going to tell you because I don't want your any loss more. Want to know why I'm getting better frames than my friend's Windows rig? Same hardware, same game, same settings. Windows runs background processes constantly. Telemetry, Windows, Defender, Cortana, Xbox, Game Bar, all eating your CPU and RAM while you're trying to game. But on Linux, it runs what you tell it to run. That's it. My Steam Deck has a fraction of my friend's GPU power, but without all that bloat, games just fly. Here's something even crazier. AMD CPUs have 73.6% market share in Linux gaming. On Windows, only 38%. Why? Because AMD's open source drivers work flawlessly on Linux. No driver updates breaking your games, no compatibility issues, it just works. Nvidia finally caught on too. They released open kernel modules in 2024. Now Nvidia cards actually work properly on Linux, Wayland support, better performance, everything. Eight months ago, you had to tinker to game on Linux. Now, it's easier than Windows. Bazite OS, install it, boot it, start gaming. Automatic driver setup, no configuration needed, Fedora-based and rock-solid. No Barra OS. Every update is gaming-focused, pre-configured everything, tweaks built in. Pop OS, what I use on my main rig dot hybrid GPU switching for laptops. Zero tinkering required, Ubuntu based, so everything works. All of these install faster than Windows. Steam comes pre-installed, you're gaming in 20 minutes. Let me be real with you. Eight months ago, there were gaps. Certain games just didn't work. Today, Proton's compatibility rate hit 90%. That means if you have 100 games in your Steam library, 85 of them will launch on Linux without you doing anything. Windows 10 support ended in October 2025. Microsoft is pushing everyone to Windows 11. Stricter hardware requirements, even more telemetry. Or, you install Linux for free, get better gaming performance, and actually own your PC again. The last eight months prove something important. Linux gaming isn't the future, it's the present. Valve invested millions to make this work. The community built insane tool, and millions of gamers are switching right now. If you're still gaming on Windows, ask yourself one question. Why? 
Drop a comment if you're even thinking about trying Linux gaming. Tell me what games you play. I'll tell you if they'll work. I respond to every comment. Hit subscribe if you want more real talk about gaming tech that actually matters.